Hi, my name is Bill Black. I'm the owner of Spirit River. We make fishing flies and tying materials. I'm excited to be here with you today in our uh, Learning to Tie series of videos that you're going to find. Spirit River offers these tying kits. These tying kits you can find at better dealers throughout the country. You can go to our website, spiritriverflies.com. There's a dealer locator there, so if you're interested in these, um, feel free to go to our website and contact a local dealer. Inside this kit, we have instructions, a little history of the fly. Most importantly, we have all the materials to tie this fly. Well, this is um, a Mickey Finn. This is a very, very famous East Coast streamer. This is designed to be tossed into the water and uh, let it swim around, kind of like a minnow. Um, so it's basically designed to be subsurface underwater. It's not a dry fly. It does not imitate uh, mayflies. It more imitates um, uh, minnows, that sort of thing, bait fish. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this for you and I'll go as quick as I can because I know your time's valuable. I have a bobbin that's been adjusted. I'm going to add thread and build a just a real simple base of thread over the shank of the hook. From here I'm going to uh, tie in a piece of ribbing and I'm going to tie in a piece of mylar. The mylar is silver on one side and gold on the other so you can use either side you want. I'm going to tie it this way because when I start to wrap it I want the silver side out. So again I trap that with my thread and then I hold them both tight and here's where I'm going to go all the way back to the back of the fly tying these materials in. And the reason I tie it up front here is because I want this to be nice and smooth and no bumps. If I tie both these materials in here at the back and try to bring them forward, I'd have a bump here where I tie them in. So that's the reason we do this. Get a nice good looking fly. And I'll bring the thread up forward. The first thing I want to do is I want to create my, my silver body. Every wrap of this mylar is going to be right next to the other. It can overlap a little bit if you want. Um, you just don't really want to see too much or any black thread under this. And I'll just keep going round and round here. It'll only take a second. Almost there. And if you notice, that's a pretty flat, even, nice mylar body we created. So again, I go around two or three or four times. I'll grab that mylar and I'll clip it. Next, I'll take, this is uh, the rib material, and I'll go around and I'll leave a bit of a distance between each one, keeping it nice and even. This adds durability to the fly, adds a little substance to that body look. If a fish's teeth ever pricks that fine little mylar, this fly could unravel on you. Uh, hopefully you'll be catching lots of fish and uh, that won't be a problem. Okay, so I tied that off and clipped it. Now I prepared just kind of like a little bed for my wing, okay? This wing is composed of bucktail. You've got two colors with this yellow on the bottom and top and the red in the middle. Bucktail hair is hollow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little chunk, stick my scissors through it and clip it. Okay? You want to strip out kind of the weird stuff on the bottom. Okay? You want this minnow's wings to be a little bit beyond, not much, but about one hook gate beyond the um, uh, bend of the hook back here. So I'm going to go ahead and tie that in. I'm going to take a little chunk of this red. You know, actually I like to use this too sometimes, a little more natural color, at least I think. I'm going to lay this on here, measure it. Uh, actually, you can also strip a little bit out to make, make it nice and even, like I just did there. This is going to go on next. Notice I don't use too many wraps. 
And I'm going to take just one more little batch of this yellow. Make sure there's no broken tips in it. You want natural tips in the hair. You never want to clip them. I'm going to lay that on here. Up between my fingers and back down. That applies the material to the top of the hook. Right there. I grab all of this material and I trim it at an angle. So you'll see that it's kind of cut at an angle here. That'll allow me to go around with my thread and, and build a really nice uh, bullet shaped head at the, at the front. You don't want a really big, fat, ugly, bumpy head. So that's pretty much about where we want her. Now if you want to prop that wing up higher, you can by running your thread around underneath it. I think this looks pretty good right now. I'm going to put a little drop of super glue and that will absorb back into those hairs. I'm going to just add a real simple two turn whip finish. I left a little bit of thread sticking out the bottom there. I got it. That's why my scissors were glued together a while ago. Anyway, so here you go. You've got a beautiful little Mickey fin. You've got a, uh, the proportions of this. This is your hook shank and this is your hook gate. So you go back here and that's about where you want your wing to end. You don't want it too far back or fish will sort of short strike you. That's a Mickey fin using our Spirit River tying kit. And I hope that simplifies things and makes it nice and easy for you. Please visit our website. Please visit our dealers. We really, really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Have a good day.